we have Scott Rogowski here in studio. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Look, hey. you seem so amped up. Are you nervous like I am about I, the, the trivia that's coming up? No, I'm just excited to talk about the Diamondback signing of Antonio Bastardo. <laughs> that's that's what we're talking about, right? 100%. 100%. Yes. That's yeah, all yeah. prepared to talk about today. Good. I'm glad. This is so exciting. That's Make, the whole thing is going to be. <laughs> Alexa, baseball is my number one sport. Great. And when I got this invitation to appear here, I mean, I've been getting a lot of press invitations, but I said, this has to be the top of the list for me. Well, this we're so such a happy thrill. to have you. So happy to get yeah. my cup of coffee. Well, and we know that you're a huge Mets fan. Yeah. Um, but, but let's just talk about HQ Trivia for a second. Sure. Because you kind of, you know, have rose to stardom overnight. This game became an instant success. Did you see that this, uh, you know, was going to become such a, a big thing? Is this something that you foresaw? Or you're it, just taking it back a little bit? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it was when I first, you know, auditioned for it and I heard about the concept. I mean, it's a live trivia game show you play on your phone. It, it's an app trivia show, an app show, which I never heard of before because right. it's really the first one. Yeah. It's free to download. If you, wanna, if you haven't heard of it yet, go to HQ in the App Store and Google Play. You can download it. And um, I heard the concept, live show hosted by me reading trivia. Okay, maybe maybe we'll get a few thousand people playing. Now we have over 1.6 million people playing. It's incredible. Every night, it's crazy. And for a huge cash prize, which is the best part. Yeah, we give out 20, now it's $2,500 minimum prize. We've given out as much as $18,000 in one game. Two people split a $12,000 prize. They won $6,000 for a 15-minute investment. It's pretty good. That's Better than Bitcoin, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Uh, so you're a huge baseball fan, big Mets fan. Always. What's your best memory that uh, you've ever experienced? Oh my gosh. Baseball? Well, it, it can't. It, my best memory probably. You don't have videotape of it. It was when I was chosen to be the bat boy in, in 1997 spring training for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay. Shout out Kevin Polkovich, Jacob <laughs> Brumfield, Midray Cummings. Very nice guys. Uh, but. As a fan spectating in the stands for a moment, has to be Johan Santana's no-hitter, mm. 2012, against the Cardinals. I was there, Alexa. <laughs> I amazingly had tickets. A friend of mine was like, oh, I, I, I got tickets. You want to go? Oh, I was like, right, let me go to the Phillies. I want to see the Phillies. Oh, I can't get to the Phillies. All right, fine. I'll take the Cardinals game, some random Cardinals game. And there it was, history in the making, the first time a Mets pitcher ever threw a no-hitter. Of course... You know, if there was instant replay as it was today, maybe it would have been overturned, but screw that. We were there. I've never been in a place that was going crazy. I mean, look at that. The, the players were going nuts, obviously, but the stands, it was so loud and just raucous and just everyone's jumping and going crazy. Better than a World Series victory, I think. That was just... You know, 50 years waiting for this? Yeah. More? Yeah, it was crazy. That might come up in our trivia, by the way, so I hope you're, you're ready to talk about that a little bit further during our trivia game. Okay, okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Mets this season? How do you feel? Confident? I feel, uh, look, one word. What's that? Or two words, I guess, because <laughs> their names. Ahmed Rosario. Okay. This is the guy. <laughs> I'm putting all my money on Ahmed. We got Dominic Smith, a lot of young guys. Conforto, who I really, I saw him in Double A, Binghamton, mm -hmm. and then I got to see him get called up. And then, of course, you can't leave out Tim Tebow. This is the year for oh, Tebow. He got that if invite. everyone got hurt last year and they still didn't bring him up, I don't know if there's a chance this year. He's maybe. coming up, baby. <laughs> Tebow's coming up this year. Get ready, Flushing. It's happening. All right. Well, uh, if you are victorious in this trivia game, we might have a little bit of a Mets prize for you. So Ooh. extra incentive for you to do really well in this game. So yeah. you ready for this game? I'm ready. All right. So the way that we play 1225 Live Trivia is we each have 12 questions. Okay. We're going to go back and forth. It doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong. We're going to get the tally at the end. But we want to get through all these questions right. because these are really, really uh, fun. And this is how we play the game. Who goes first? I go first. Okay. You ready? Yes. Yeah, we're going to put 10 seconds on the clock for each question. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you are playing along at home. No Googling. And you get these right. So you got your cards out. I got my This is like Price Waterhouse Cooper here with this. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. Well, we wanted to make sure that no one was spying. Right, cheating. fully audited. Okay. Okay, here we go. Question one. Which player is also known as the Great Bambino? Is it Benny the Jet Rodriguez, Babe Ruth, or your favorite, Ahmed Rosario? Benny Agbayani. No, come on. It's Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe Ruth, the very, Bambino. Very yeah, swat. baby. Salt and a swat. Very nicely done. The salt and a swat. Okay, your turn. Oh, oh we, we switch? Okay. Yeah, we're going to switch back and forth. Which Nationals player won the National League MVP in 2015? Bryce Harper, Jonathan Papelbon, or Peter Rosenberg? This is Bryce Harper, but I love the uh, reference to my husband being the, Yes, your good. husband was an option there. He's an MVP in your, in your household. That's right. Just not on the baseball diamond. Not for the All right. Question two. Who set the MLB single season rookie home run record in 2017? Was it Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge, or Brandon Nimmo? Come on. All rise for the judge. <laughs> That's right. Got to respect number 99, the new great one. This guy's got grown men showing up in judge costumes in uh, the Bronx. It's crazy. It's and I saw him at the Arizona Fall League. 
Wow. When he was a minor leaguer. Okay. I'm a big minor league guy. Okay. okay. Q2. Yes. How long was the Indians historic win streak in 2017? 22 games, 15 games, or 50 games? Yeah, we talked about this a lot. It was 22 games. 22 games. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. And that starting rotation helped them along. Big Kluber. Time. Yeah. All right, Q3. Who was the last team to appear in back-to-back -back World Series? The Royals, the Padres, or the Yankees? Back-to-back -back World Series. Um, well, the Roy the Royals, did they? It's the, it's the Padres. Mm. No, it's the and Royals. It, no, it is the Royals. The Royals, like, uh, uh, yeah, which is so funny because they played against your men. I, well, I know that, yes. And then, they, yeah, they didn't make it the next, oh, God. I know, ah, I know, it's gonna kill you. Bad, that's, that's an what, early one. That's what this game is. Uh, how many World Series have the Giants won in the last decade? One, three, or four? I think it's gonna be four this season, but I'm going three is the answer. I wish you were wrong, but you're right. <laughs> Alexa! Is there an I Alexa here? Can I here. ask Alexa for the right. answer? Okay. Now these are going to start to get a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Just like HQ. This is how we play. All right, question four. Who was the 1969 World Series MVP? Bill Buckner, David Wright, or Don Clendenin? You're saying these are getting harder? <laughs> Don Clendenin. There you go. Nicely done. The 69 Miracle Mets. That's right. Former pirate Don Clendenin. Okay, Q4. After moving from Montreal, in what year did the Washington Nationals play their inaugural season? 1983, 1999, or 2005? 2005. 2005. Yeah, I was there, baby. You were probably awesome. there. Zach Day, yeah. opening day starter. Uh, was it Levon him? Hernandez. Oh, oh was it Levon to, Hernandez? Right. When they moved to uh, when they moved to the new ballpark. New ballpark, yeah, yeah. Can't forget Zach Day. Zach Day. Have yourself a day. All right, you got that one right. All right, question five. With whom does Mr. Met have the infamous rivalry? Is it Mrs. Met, Noah Syndergaard, or Matt Harvey? Matt Harvey. The infamous rivalry between Mr. Met. I mean, I, Mrs. And Noah Met. Syndergaard. You haven't heard about this? No. I, oh man, we need to get you all caught up. It's I crazy. I don't follow the mascots. <laughs> They're our favorite. We only follow the mascots. <laughs> the, the players come second. I have a rivalry with Matt Harvey. There you go. I'm not happy with Matt Harvey. Party's too much. Q5. How many home runs were hit in Game Five of the 2017 World Series? Seven, ten, or twelve? This was seven. We talked about this. Yeah, well, you, you talk about this every back. day. Of course you're going to get this stuff right. It's, it's seven bad. home runs. All right, this is stacked against me. That's how they did it. All right, I'm protesting. Six. I'm playing this game to protest. <laughs> Who was the starting pitcher for the Mets Game 7 World Series clincher in 1986? Was it Ron Darling, Dwight Gooden, or Dave Cohn? It's Ron Darling. It was Ron Darling. There you go. Bulldogs, Bulldogs, bow, wow, wow. Eli, yeah. That's right. Q6. Which of these Cy Young winners has not won an MVP award? Pedro Martinez, Clayton Kershaw, or Justin Verlander? Ooh. Not won an MVP. Clayton Kershaw? Clayton Kershaw has won. Mm. I believe multiple. That Can someone confirm? He's won at least Pedro, one. Then. It's Pedro. Just one. You Damn. got your first wrong answer here. Damn. Five for six. You're still batting, what, over 800? You're still doing pretty well. All right, Q7. Who was the last MLB player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards? Miguel Cabrera, Mike Trout, or Juan Lagares? Mike Trout. No. Nope. <sighs> Miggy? Miguel Cabrera. Come on. I oh, know. You would think it was Mike Trout. It's definitely not Juan Lagares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you for making at least 50. I can't get the 50 50 ones right. For which of these teams, this is Q7, for which of these teams has Bartolo Colon not played? Oh my gosh. The Royals, the Red Sox, or the White Sox? Colon play for the Red Sox? I'm gonna say Red Sox. Bart Bartholomew Colon <laughs> has played for the Red Sox oh and gosh. the White Sox, but the Royals getting me and getting you now. Unbelievable. It was the Royals. Never played for the Royals. All right, there's still time. There's Don't worry still about time. It. Yeah, it's 44. Yeah, that's right, exactly. He's gonna make a comeback this year. Yeah. Uh, Q8. How many batting titles did Jose Reyes win with the Mets? Zero, one, or three? One. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. Absolutely. A big season for Jose Reyes. Yeah. He was able to pull Silver out. slugger. Q8, which president has not appeared in the Nationals president's race? Ooh. Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, or Herbert Hoover? Herbert Hoover? Yeah, no. <laughs> FDR. FDR. We got a new deal for Alexa, and you're getting all the questions wrong. Oh, that's, okay. that's the oh, new deal. Oh, I'm getting crushed. I'm yeah. getting crushed. Catching right. up now. Catching up. Q9. Yeah, we're pulling, uh, we're pulling even here. Which current MLB manager managed Michael Jordan in the minors? Bruce Bochy, Terry Collins, or Terry Francona? Wait, so you're saying current MLB manager? Yep. 
So I'm gonna say Francona. You are correct. Wow, you pulled that out. Because Collins is looking there. for a job right now. That is that is 100 percent true. Unfortunately, I like Birmingham this. Barons, 1995. Look at or you. Four. See, he knows his baseball. I know my baseball. Number 45, Michael Jordan. Q9. Who leads all of Major League Baseball in home runs since the start of the 2015 season? Edwin Encarnacion, Giancarlo Stanton, or Nelson Cruz? Ooh, that's a good one. Um. Since 2015. I think it's Nelson Cruz. Yeah. Am I right? You think right. Yeah. You think right. You, the, the, the trick question there was Stanton because mm -hmm. of uh, the because of this last massive year. year. Yeah. yeah. But Nelson Cruz has been putting it out yeah. it's of been the park. Pretty impressive. Yeah. All right. Question 10. This is a little bit of a daily double. We're going to the video screen because we have a friend who wanted to ask this question what? to you. Let's take a look. It's Mr. Matt. Wow. It's your boy. Oh, my goodness. So he heard you knew a thing or two about the Metsies. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So he wants you to know, to answer, who struck out to complete Johan Santana's no-hitter. Good luck, he says. I can't forget this one. I was there. I witnessed it. It was the previous World Series MVP, Mr. David Freeze. Nicely done. Mr. Freeze. That Ice. Was, that was one of the harder questions that we're going to ask you, and you nailed it. Because Ice to meet you. Come on. Helps. Yeah. Excellent. Q10. Thank you, Mr. Met, by Thank the Thank you, Mr. Met. Incredible. I'm sorry to know about your rivalry with Syndergaard. I'll have to catch up with that. Q10. Who did Lou Gehrig replace at first base for the Yankees on June 2nd, 1925? A position Gehrig kept for the next 2,130 games. Fred Merkel, Wally Pipp, or Babe Ruth? Oh, my goodness. And I wrote this question specifically for you. Jesus. Oh, Fred Merkel. Fred Merkel. Well, that's a major boner because it's Merkel's boner, but Wally Pipp no! was the one that Luke Garrett replaced. You don't want to be Wally Pipp, Alexa. Someone could replace you on one of these shows one day, and you could be the next Wally Pipp. Yeah. You don't want to let that happen. Like A-Rod, that's what's going to happen right. for sure. All right, question 11. David Wright last appeared in a game on May 27th of 2016. He went one for four. What was that one hit? A single, a double, or a home run? It was him getting hit in the head. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, it was a home run. It was a home run. Very nicely done. God, All right, we're right. done here. We're coming to the final. Uh, Mad love for D Wright. Final question. Hope he comes uh, come around. Yeah, this is the penultimate question. Q11. How many league wide home runs were hit in the record breaking 2017 season? 5,610, 6,105, or 6,834? I did not write this one. This is a very hard question. I think this one's 6,105. You're going for the middle? Yeah. You're not getting fed that? That is the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 6,105. Right. That's incredible. You talk about home runs a lot in the show? It was the season of the long ball. It yeah, was the season of the long ball. That's all we talk about. I that's know. what we want to talk about. All right, Q12. Q12. This is it. Is the final, final one. Final Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Barry Bonds holds the all-time career walks record. Who is second? Ricky Henderson, Alex Rodriguez, or Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth. Ricky. It's Ricky Henderson. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Ricky. Ricky. Unfortunately, not able to answer that final one. Let's see if Are I can. Are we tied right now? Let's see if I can best you on Q12. I think I'm up by one, Alexa. Okay. So you got to get this right to tie the game for that tiebreaker. This is a Q12. It all boils down to this. Which of these NFL quarterbacks was never drafted by a Major League Baseball team? Oh Brett Favre, Tom Brady, or John Elway? Never drafted by a baseball That's right. team. That's right. Tom Brady? Tom Brady was drafted. No! No! Do we know the name of the team for bonus points? No. No, I don't either. John Elway was drafted by the Yankees. That I do know. Oh, he played for the Oneonta Yankees. Brett Favre, not drafted. Never drafted. All right, Danny. Huh, I think oh. I won that one. I don't know. We have to go to the scorekeeper. <laughs> Danny, you could fill us in. Who won? You guys, I'm sweating be just listening to what just happened. It was so close. It came down to that last question. Scott, you are our winner today. Oh, Eight to seven. Nicely wow. done. Wow. Eight to seven. Scott, Excellent. we have something for you. you. Yes. <laughs> We have a Jacob deGrom jersey. Oh my goodness. Pretty good, goodness. right? You can rock that all oh season Oh my long. goodness. You're going to bring the team good luck. I'm going to have to grow my hair out like Jake <laughs> yeah, you to are. wear that jersey with pride. Dirty flow. That's you guys are sure. impressive. I, I am blown away.
Great and job. Incredible. Hats off to both of you. Thanks, Danny. Yeah, Doff appreciate my cap. It. Scott, thanks so much for being here. This was the best. This was awesome. Can we do this every Wednesday? Yes, we can. Until you, your fans get sick of me? Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, if you want to check out HQ Trivia, make sure you download the app. They play the game every 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock Eastern Time hour, weekdays, yes. and then weekdays. it's just 9 o'clock on the weekend. Every night at 9 p.m. It's free. Download HQ in your App Store, Google Go Play. We're everywhere, baby. Yeah. All right, Scott. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much.